So I've got two grenades. Okay, people are saying that's real good. The cooldown is short. I can tell that much. I want this fire rate. Oh. Interesting. It's got some range. See the what what like that looks like it would hit nothing at range. <laughs> you say don't let the visuals fool you. I'll have to believe you. I'll have to try it from farther away. Like I can't, is it a cone or is it accurate to the visuals? I have no idea, it just works TM, okay. So I like how the old one is piercing, but at the same time, I, I'm not like hugely connected to it. I don't feel like, oh, it's so good I couldn't trade it away. So I'm very open to this being the path to greatness or whatever. And I mean, it's cooldowns very quick. It looks like it's an actual shotgun though. Yeah, that didn't do as much as I wanted. Oh. I have to see how that does in crowd control situations. That didn't stick to it. Ow, I messed up. Now I get to have to heal for the next literally like minute and a half. Really fun game mechanic. If the grenades exploded on contact, they would be better. I was kind of expecting them to, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it does. It doesn't stun, though, does it? It doesn't look like it stuns, which the other four does, and that is good. The stun is good, and I want it. So. It's kind of like the whole Mercenary 4 thing. It gives you iframes. And I don't know how the damage compares, but the iframes are so important. Also, another thing, normally I hold my one, like my basic attack, I just hold it. And um, hit four, I hit my four and uh, it'll you know, do its thing. But with this, I actually have to let go in order to, you know, get it done. So I feel negatively about that. The grenade can't proc things? Uh, and yeah, I would say so far it is straight up just a worse skill in every way that I've managed to perceive so far. And I can't use it against flying stuff because it doesn't seem to stick every time. Let me, let me... Yeah, it does... I don't know how I stuck it to that one golem, but I think that the new four is just kind of not good. Oh, it doesn't have a thing that scales with attack speed, right? That's also true. I think it's straight worse. But I'm open to the two being straight better. Okay, that, that did not hit anything at all. Did they reduce the damage drop off? on your basic attack. I'm thinking that if the four is gonna be useful, it's gonna be much later in the game. And it might be kind of like the um, artificer thing. 
where you take the four and it only really benefits you late game, but early game it's gonna be harder or worse. But I think that the stun is so important from the old, there we go, from the old four and scaling with attack speed and all that stuff, more procs. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards the old one is better. The new two, I am very open to, though. I'm not gonna say it's better, better. Moon Donut. But I'm gonna say that it's definitely an option. Feels like my basic attack is doing more damage, though. I don't know. Probably isn't. Is it more total damage than the old two? Makes sense, but no piercing. And I actually like the distance of the old two, because you can use it to one-shot, or nearly one-shot wisps, uh, and that's very, very useful. That's why I say it could go either way. It really depends... Because, like, I guess with the old four, you still have a ranged option because it can shoot from pretty far away and still be pretty accurate. So if you're using the old four, the new two is probably a little better. But uh, I don't like not having it as a ranged option, or I don't like not having any good damage ranged option because of the drop-off of my basic attack is, I guess, what I'm really getting at here. No, there's not a new movement option for the commando, uh, but there's a new... Nope, 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 nope. Hey, that one missed. I'm lucky. I don't know how I did that, but, you know, uh, we take those. Uh, there's a new lunar item that replaces your movement skill, your third skill, and that is good for commando, people are saying. I haven't had it on commando, but I am told it is good for commando, and I can see why, because I've, I've had it. Yeah, I really don't like how I have to stop shooting for, like, an actual notable amount of time in order to throw this grenade. That's what's getting me worse, I guess. Like, you have to not be... You just can't do it at all. <laughs> have to be fully done shooting. See, I am liking, I like how that went with the crowd, though. So I do like the grenades function there. And I think that since you seem to be ending up a lot more often with big crowds, even early game in Monsoon now, that, it, it does have some value there. And I think that another thing regarding this, the new skills is that I'm only thinking of them from my solo play perspective, and I, like, they might have different impacts in a co-op game, depending on team composition, which I never really consider, because I never really play co-op. No, I, I really think that um, it would be really good of them to make it so that the new four can be thrown while you're still holding your basic attack. Uh, I think that would make me like it a lot more instantly. Because so far that's my big complaint. That's like the one big complaint. Where like completely regardless of its effectiveness, it is annoying to have to stop holding my shoot for long enough to throw it. That's that's like immediate actual issue before even thinking about how good it is. Uh, yeah, my last run yesterday was pretty darn strong. 
I uh, got full crit on loader. I think I had glass, maybe. I was one shot in a lot of dudes, including bosses. That uh, was pretty cool. But I don't think loader is all that interesting. Uh, I read their development thoughts this morning, and uh, I feel pretty much exactly how they did. Like, they mentioned that they felt loader was pretty one-dimensional. That's how I feel, and I feel that that's not very fun. But most people like the character, so it's whatever. Yeah, not every character is for every person, that's for sure. But as someone who plays every character, it's just, you know, not going to be an interesting one when I get there in the rotation. And I think that the one dimensionality is actually just kind of a negative for longevity, I guess. Because, like, the character is really one skill. Space for one skill sometimes use another skill and sometimes move. But, like, it's really just use your third skill as much as possible, and that's the whole character. So I don't think that that's good. Navy, thank you so much for the 10 months up. Right, grenade. Thanks so much for the many months of support. If the three were moved to two, then you'd be able to stack a lot of it so much and the character would be way more one-dimensional. I don't think that would be good personally. I mean, sure, you can get a uh, hard light uh, afterburner now. But that's a lot less common than a backup mag, so. If it were two, you would just see runs of literally nothing else. And that's already the goal. The goal is already nothing but... Nothing but three. Uh, my impression of Commando's new 2 is that it will be better if I'm using the old 4. But that it is, at the very least, seemingly pretty good. But I think that using both new skills kills your ranged options too much. Because your 1 is, you know, it cuts off, it drops off too much. But it seems like it would go well with the old four. And for the new four, I think it seems like it might be pretty nice since you're getting more enemy density more often uh, in Monsoon. Just due to whatever they changed about the director. But like I was saying, like you were saying, you need something ranged, so. No, I haven't played Huntress or Engineer yet with the new skills. I'm just going in order. Uh, though I played, I played Mercenary and Artificer first because I asked people what they wanted me to do first while I was unlocking loader. Oh. Ah, 
I, I do like that you get two grenades. I think that's pretty nice. I like both of Artificers 1 and 2 more than the old ones, but they are worse, in my opinion. I don't think that you can use them and expect to do as well. I think that you need the old 2 to be able to get past the early game effectively with Artificer, and I think that the old one is just straight better. But the new 4, I, it's an early game sacrifice, but I think it's worth it for the late game. I think gasoline's more valuable uh, with whatever they did to the director. Mm, I don't think that the new four is as good early game because I don't think that you want to be that close. But I think that in the late game, you're stuck being that close more often. Like, there are just times when you're just not avoiding it. Uh, and it's a good escape for that. So that, that's how I feel about it. I think that it will be a better movement option. It'll be something that you can use at all. It can keep you in the air, and in the air is a good place for you. Because it messes. Like, a lot of enemy AI just can't handle in the air. Oops. Nice bounce. So that's how I feel about the four. I, I think that the fact that you will want to use it at all late game is it, it's good for that. But I don't think that it's what I wanted necessarily. I think it's just that it is useful at all, therefore it is better. Oh, this is not good. Well, see, that's the reason that you need the old one and the old two is wisps. Wisps are so much more powerful now in, in, in a way that I think is personally bad. But, like, wisps are so much more powerful now. They're so much more important to deal with. The old one and the old two are straight better for them for Artificer because the old one will one-shot them due to the dot and the new one will not. And the old two, you can hit more of them without, um, you know, without hitting them. Oh, that was a chest. Tragic. What I really wanted from a new one for Artificer was just one that didn't have charges. Skills 2.0 means that Every character has some challenges associated with them that allow you to unlock new alternate skills that you can select. They haven't put every skill in yet, but every character has at least, you know, one skill that you can unlock an alternate for. So right now I'm using the alternate 2 and 4 for Commando. You get a shotgun for the two, and you get a grenade for the four. Yeah, most of the challenges are pretty annoying. I skipped them because, for the most part, I had already done them before. So assuming they worked, if I had, you know, been playing after the update, you know, if I hadn't been playing in early access, I would have them. Uh, but a couple of them, well, really just one of them, I skipped because I would never do it because it was dumb in my opinion. Like, they, they're just kind of putting tedious, unfun unlocks in a lot of places, in my opinion. But uh, I did the loaders because, of course, I hadn't played the loader before. 
so there's no way I could have unlocked the loader's alternate skills before now. What's loader like? You just want to use one skill all the time. Uh, I don't like it a lot, but everyone thinks that the character is really fun. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. But like in this situation right now, I've been really seeing that I think that the four has some good value. Because I think that all of my uses of the new four were just pretty good there. I think that the loader's movement feels real bad, personally. But yeah, others really like it. Probably wanted the backup mag realistically. Yeah, they definitely increase the chance that you get reds from anything. I've gotten a lot of tier one chest reds since the update. And tier two chests, they seem pretty darn common. Had multiple levels where I got like three or four reds. I don't have a problem with the increase in in tier threes, but I certainly don't know why they did it. I don't think it was in a bad place. It's nice to see them more. But I'm not sure if it's too much more. And also, like, the red items aren't generally about healing too much. So the fact that healing is a lot more necessary now because they made health regeneration bad and, you know, slowed down the pace of the game, basically, through that. Again, I think I think that the health regeneration is a negative and they should have done it in a different way, like increasing enemy damage and leaving the regeneration broken. Um, I, I think that reds don't really help you with that issue. The mitigating factor is that you gotta buy drones. Drones, even if you're buying um, attack drones, just regular gunner drones, even if you're buying them. They are taking away aggro from you, so you will get shot less. And that does buy you time to get the healing items later instead of needing them immediately. But I still don't really like it. Really, I've only seen one guillotine since the patch. Uh, I don't think that it's a... I don't think that it, it'll be a buff. I think this is definitely the nerf. Did they fix drones? You can buy them back if they die. So that's a positive. But no, they still suck after you get to... Um, after you start looping, they still suck. Yeah, guillotine is something that you need, but I think that that's, like, since I at least have seen far less of them, the idea that the first one is the most important because it gives 20% rather than just the basic, you know, 5% after stacking, I'm totally okay with it, I think. Um, it, it fits that you might only see a couple, and that's that's totally fine. So at least with my present luck, I think it fits right where it's supposed to be. Where the impact it has on the run is 
pretty much correct with its current tier and its current, um, the amount that I see it. Frost Relic's really good for this boss, I'm noticing. Because the skulls don't seem to get through it. Because they have really low health. Ah, oh, we actually got the item. Not as valuable on this character as on some others. Uh, mostly Mercenary and Huntress, because those characters can sprint while attacking. But, you know, I'll take free damage where I get free damage, right? Oh, I did. Thank you, Tiny, for the $2. So how are you liking the update so far, is what it says. I guess I've pretty much been saying that. Um, as far as the content in the update, I like it. As far as the unlocks for the content, I don't like it at all, really. I think that, like, I don't know. I definitely agree with the sentiment that most of the alternate skills are side grades, or worse, like, straight up worse. And thus, the unlocks being what they are is kind of not worth. Because they don't give you a proportional reward for the effort that you're putting in. Um, I don't think that they should be straight up better but I don't think that they should be straight up worse. I think that the idea is that the characters shown as locked in the current character select screen are the ones that will be will be in the game for release, but they will still be open to adding more content after release, so we could see more characters, items, etc. Angry Toe, thank you so much for the seven months up. Thanks very much for the continued support. Appreciate it a lot. I feel like I always end up spending a lot of time here. Must move on. Like this is a good location for like a new altar. Oh, it kicked me out. <laughs> Never mind. No new altar there. What do I think of the new bosses? I've only fought one new boss. Um, I don't have any strong feelings about it because I didn't really get a feel for the mechanics at all. I haven't felt that I had any issues with the birds. 
I definitely don't understand what the robo balls do. Because, like, one totally just, like, murdered the heck out of me yesterday. And I didn't really know why. I'm in 30 minutes right now. I don't know how they did it, but they've made me take so much longer in every single run that I've done. I don't think it's just because of the worst healing. Like, I think there's just something else to it. I do like the damage from the grenade. I don't know. I think that the grenade might be okay. I think that the old four is more useful in more situations, though. But I think that new monsoon definitely gives some some space for the new... Oh, I can go to space now. For the new one to be good. I think that impact, like exploding on impact, would probably be a good thing for the grenade. Because then it would be useful against aerial enemies. And I think that's a big thing that I don't like about it right now. So this thing gives you a guaranteed red, which is like pretty cool. That hurt like a lot. I didn't enjoy that. I don't know how that laser works at all. Because it doesn't often seem to do a lot of damage to me. thing sure has health, man. You could always see when enemies level up, actually. Alright. Oh, all of my drones are dead. That kind of sucks.
I should probably like activate the teleporter event just so that I can like not have enemies eventually. Seems I got a magma worm, which is honestly not a big deal at all. But yeah, 35 minutes right now. Normally I'm getting out of the next level at Oh no, this is the next level. Only I'm getting out of here right now. This is fine. I thought this was the third level for some reason. I guess because I'm so used to the fourth level. It makes sense. I don't know what it's doing there. Oh man, I hurt. This is good. That gets a lot of damage out quickly. It's getting all of its health back. Oh, okay, no, 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 it's just you. It's fine, everything's fine. Let's buy this back. I want it. Go. Yep, that's why I must go. That was not what I needed to stomp on. That's fine. Good. Oh, that's not good. I'll kill you. I don't think I can get out of this one. Oh, I can. Because I think that one would have killed me. like to go to space. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, space time. That's not very space. Oh, oh it changed to magma worm. I wonder why. Okay, that was pretty good damage. Dude, there's so many of you. Maybe it was vicinity. I was just too far from it. I am really liking the passive damage I can deal by chucking a grenade at the crowd I'm cultivating. No, oh, why did you miss? Why didn't you aim at the enemy I intended you to? Slowly getting there, though. Frick. 
I think that mechanically I like this boss, though. After this fight, I think I have a better feel for it. I mean, if you're not strong, it does take a while to kill. I had a really easy time with it on loader. Which is, I think, the first time I fought it. Or no, I've had to fight it before loader. I was... what character was I? Um, I don't remember what character I was. Mercenary? Mercenary, I did half of its health for free because I used my um, my dash and I hit it into a wall. That's what happened. But that's not consistent. It's very difficult to knock like fat enemies into walls and have it count for damage. Like that's very difficult to do to greater wisps, for example. Not super happy with my red item. Which is funny, because it's the happiest mask. It's happy with its red item, but I'm not. the item that I now know is there. Oh wow, look at this, a healing chest too. Yeah, Happiest Mask is way better in the first game, for sure, no question. Ah, he's done it. Well, also in the first game, everything's 2D. Not many enemies are flying. All the enemies are going to hit all the other enemies that are near them. In this game, the AI is not really, you know, great for it. The 3D is a huge nerf. Anyway, I'm like positive they reduce money uh, gain, and that's that's just unfortunate. That's what that is. Nice, I got the one elite as my ghost. That's actually pretty convenient. Ow. Maybe I should take the Brittle Crown more. I mean, you know what? Maybe that's the goal. Make the Brittle Crown better. Was, but I I did it. Okay, so I'm not really looking at close range enemies too much, but I oh frick. The moral was I was gonna buy it anyway because the second rusted key is not worth nearly as much to me. So I've bought my ring pop of close damage.
Is that what we're calling it now? I mean, it's it's a ring pop. It just doesn't have the ring. Ah, they're split, dude. Unfortunate. Okay, I'm going up. Oh, that's not a good place to go up. I'm gonna try to go up over here. having trouble. I'm not even having trouble killing the boss. I'm just having trouble, like, one-shotting the boss. Nope. We can do better. We can really do better, I swear. I know it. Oh, I had it. That was it. That was me doing better. I did better. Oh. Well, I don't have fall damage, so that didn't matter. Oh my ow. Dude, I really I I am just dead. I'm just dead. <laughs> 